Good afternoon. Daily story. I'm back home. February 24th. The real source of harm. Keep in mind that it is not the one who has it in for you and takes a swipe that harms you, but rather the harm comes from your own belief about the abuse. So when someone arouses your anger, know that it's really your own opinion fueling it. Instead, make it your first response not to be carried away by such impression. For with time and distance, self-mastery is more easily achieved. Epictetus and Chiridon 2.20 The Stoics remind us that there really is no such thing as an objectively good or bad occurrence. When a billionaire loses one million in market fluctuation, it is not the same as you or I lose a million dollars. Criticism from your worst enemy is received differently than negative words from your spouse. If someone sends you an angry email, but you never see it, did it actually happen? In other words, this situation requires our participation, context, and categorization in order to be bad. Our reaction is what actually decides whether harm has occurred. If we feel that we've been wrong and get angry, of course, that's how it will seem. If we raise our voice because we feel we are being confronted, naturally a confrontation will ensue. But if we retain control of ourselves, we decide whether to label something good or bad. In fact, if that same event happened to us at a different point in our lifetime, we might have very different response or reaction. So why not choose now to not apply these labels? Why not choose not to react? Thank you. See you tomorrow.